It was only a matter of time before James Webb broke a record. It will only be a matter of time before it does so again. On the 21st of July, 2022, an international team led by Rohan Naidu of the Harvard Center for Astrophysics announced the location, using James Webb, of the most distant and thus oldest galaxy ever found, GLASS Z13. GLASS stands for GRISM Lens Amplified Survey from Space. GRISM, a frankly horrific word that sounds like it should be an obscenity even if it isn't, is short for grating prism, a tool used by spectroscopists to analyze the composition of starlight. GLASS is a project that employs James Webb's early release science data to examine a time in the universe's history known as the Epoch of Reionization, when the first stars and galaxies were forming out of the recently coalesced clouds of hydrogen and helium gas, and light was once again blooming in the darkness. As for Z13, well, that will take more explaining. Z, and I apologize to my fellow Brits, but Z crept into my learning a little too late, is a value used for calculating redshift. For those who don't know, redshift is the reddening of light from an object as it moves away from you. Just as a police siren deepens in tone as it moves farther from your ear, so light deepens in frequency as it moves away from your eye. Low frequency light is red, while high frequency light is blue or purple. As Edwin Hubble realized in the 1920s, the universe is expanding at a constant rate. And so, by measuring the redshift of various galaxies, you can tell how far away they are. Z is calculated by applying the various absorption lines of a galaxy's spectrum to the Hubble constant. The scale is idiosyncratic, with a Z value of 1 representing a distance of 11 billion light years, 10 representing a distance of 31.5 billion light years, 100 representing a distance of 42 billion light years, and 1,000 representing a distance of 45 billion light years. Incidentally, Z equals 1,000 is roundabout where the cosmic microwave background is believed to originate, and thus the observation limit for light based telescopes. Glass Z13 lies at the Z redshift value of 13, or 33.3 .3 billion light years. It is one of two distant galaxies tentatively imaged in the survey results. The other lies at Z11, or 32.16 billion light years. Along with the second galaxy discovered at Z11 in 2016, and HD1, another Z13 galaxy identified in April using the Hubble and Subaru telescopes, it represents a newly discovered population beyond the Z10 redshift. Thanks to the finite speed of light, such galaxies are also the furthest back in time we've ever traveled, a point when the universe was a mere 3 to 400 million years old. And yet, these galaxies seem remarkably well developed, with defined disks, masses 0.1% that of the Milky Way, and diameters of almost 5%. These numbers may not seem like much, but they are equivalent to those seen in galaxies far closer to us in time and space, at redshifts of 6 to 9. This suggests that galaxy formation is far faster and more efficient than previously envisioned. They are also far more numerous than expected. Models have suggested that we would require surveys of 10 to 100 times the search area to find them. Normal galaxies, those we see in coffee table books, only extend to a redshift of about 1.5, that is, 14 billion light years, or 8.4 billion years ago. Beyond that, Galaxies begin to devolve, their disks becoming thicker, and their stars clumping into clusters. While Hubble could reach this era, it could not study it in detail because its cameras are unable to see beyond Z12. As an infrared telescope, Webb will be able to see into wavelengths as deep as Z16. This is only the opening salvo. The next region of our universe is being mapped. Here's hoping. It will help us fix our place in it.